What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanna talk about anchor points and how you can use them to customize and create basic animation for different items as far as text, logos, videos, and so on. Now let's get started. Now, if you enjoy watching these videos and you wanna see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. So let's head down here to the timeline. You'll notice I have a single video of a bee on a flower, very basic. And in order to get to the section where we have the anchor points and make sure whichever clip that you're wanting to manipulate is highlighted. So I've clicked on this, you'll notice the white trim around it. If I click off it, it disappears. So I'll make sure that's highlighted on whichever clip it is that you want to move the anchor point. So let's head up here into the source panel and you'll see the effect control tab is clicked. And these are all the items inside the clip that's highlighted down here in the timeline. Whatever is highlighted, this is the information that's gonna represent that specific clip. So let's head up here to the top where there's the motion, position, scale, rotation. Let's start with the position. So this will kind of help with the anchor point itself. So you'll notice here, the first number is 960, the second is 540. This represents the X and the Y axis. The X axis is the first number and that represents horizontal and the one to the right is the Y and that represents vertical. So if you double these numbers, that would represent 1920 by 1080 clip. That's currently what this B clip is. And the reason why it's half is it's saying that the anchor point exactly halfway horizontal and exactly halfway vertical inside of the clip. That's why it's representing this. If you move the anchor point, you'll notice these numbers do change because it's within the location in that full 1920 by 1080 clip. So let's just go down here to scale. I'm going to drop this down a little bit to show a point. So if you notice when I bring the scale in and out, it goes directly to the middle because that's where the anchor point is located. And if I rotate, it rotates exactly from the center because that's where the anchor point is located. So I'm gonna bring this back down a little bit to make this point clear. So now it's shrunk down the scale to 92%. So if we go up here to motion, if I click and highlight the motion bar itself, you'll notice over here that all of a sudden you'll see the handles represented and right in the middle, you're gonna see this crosshair thing, which is the anchor point. So that's saying that's exactly in the center, like we talked about here in the position, it's exactly halfway down and exactly halfway over. So when we spun it or when we shrunk it, it goes from that point. Now, as long as this motion bar is highlighted right here, you can manipulate and change that anchor point. So come over here to the, to the item, the clip. And if you move this over here to the bottom right, now when we go to play with the scale and make it larger or smaller, it goes from that point. See where now it's moving from that anchor point? And then the same thing, if we move it, say, let's move it up here to the top, and we play with the rotation, it moves from that anchor point. So you can manipulate that any way you like. Put this back. And like I said, every item you put in the timeline, whether it's a photo, whether it's a logo, whether it's text, for those individual specific items, you can change and play with the anchor point. So you can manipulate to have any sort of custom animation, movement, motion, whatever you can imagine. So I'm gonna show you a very, very basic way to make that into an animation. So I'm gonna put this back to normal. So now I'm gonna add another clip on top of it. So I'm gonna take this other flower clip I have, place it right on top. So now remember when I said, make sure whatever clip you're wanting to adjust is highlighted. So right now we still have that bumblebee clip highlighted in white. So all the numbers up here in the source panel represent that clip because it's highlighted. But once I click on this flower clip, you'll notice now you'll see the white frame around it adjust. So now these, re these numbers represent that. So we're gonna play with the same thing. So I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit and you'll notice just the flower clip shrinks. And then I'm gonna highlight the motion tab so you see the highlighted here. And then you're gonna see here, you're gonna see the handles and you're gonna see the anchor point like we did before. So if we wanna create some basic animation, the anchor point here to the bottom, cause I wanna have it to rotate with a certain look. So like I said, if you're doing a title or if you're doing a logo or some sort of photo, you're kind of wanting to give motion in, this is how you would do it with the anchor points. So let's head down here to the rotation and I'm gonna turn the animation toggle on. So now you notice it's set a keyframe here saying this is where we want it to end, we want it to land. And let's back it up here and let's do another anchor point. But for this anchor point, I want it to be a different rotation. I wanna bring it back here. Let's make it 180, there we go. So now there's two keyframes with a change of the rotation. So now if I slowly move that in, you can see it rotates up, not from the center, but from where I place the anchor point. So I'm gonna go back here to that first keyframe. 
and I'm gonna have this image slide down from the top, let's just say. So let's go to position, because we want the position itself to move the entire object. And let's create a keyframe there. So I clicked on the toggle animation and I placed a keyframe right here at the beginning before it starts to rotate. So now let's go back here to the first of the clip and let's place another motion keyframe. Let's have it come all the way from the top. So now I moved it out of the top. So you notice here at the front, there's a keyframe to where it starts from the top. It's gonna move its way down. And then once it hits the bottom, it's gonna then switch over and adjust the rotation portion from the anchor that we moved. And then it's gonna swing it into place. So let's bring that to the very beginning. So now we're gonna play from the very beginning. So you're gonna see how once it hits the bottom, because we change the anchor point, when it swings it, it's gonna swing it from the corner. And that's it, like I said, you can do this principle with any item, whether it's a photo or if it's a logo, if it's just text, if it's shapes, whatever you like, you can manipulate the anchor point to have it move from any position of that item that you want. And the combinations of this are endless. You can see how I used the motion to transition into the spin from the anchor point, just to add variety. You can do this with all type of items and clips, photos, logos, anything. Anyway, I hope that helped the basic understanding of anchor points. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. That being said, have a great day. Later.